Eli. Oh, oh, where am I? Oh. Oh. Is it use time already? Ugh. I was still sleeping. I was having a nice sleep. Well, what must I say? Um. Well, I'll be doing the weather later on. After I get through. Okay, Eli, you go ahead and do that. The top news headlines is that maybe being an electrician is going to be the only job that won't be taken over by robots. The global temperatures will go up by 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2030 if we don't stop now. Inflation rate is going up and up as we talk. Here's some words from other people. I just wanna buy some bread. Now it's already 50 rand. What is this nonsense? Who am I talking to? I'm the weather reporter and I even want to complain about the inflation rates going up and up. Yeah, I agree with you. I also wanna just buy some bread for myself, but it's so expensive. Why does it have to be so expensive? Texas is busy putting up borders so that no one can get in. But no one else agrees with Texas with what they're doing. Okay, on to the weather. Today in Johannesburg, it's going to be a high of 26 degrees and a low of 16. It's going to be nice and cool today. You can go outside and experience a nice cool weather after the heat wave that just happened. But be ready there's a 60% chance of precipitation today, so you might have to grab an umbrella on the way out. In Pretoria today, it's going to be a high of 29 degrees and a low of 18, with a 40% chance of precipitation. If it does rain in Johannesburg today, then it will start at 12 o'clock and end at 3 o'clock. And if it does rain in Pretoria, then it will start raining at 2 o'clock and end at 3 o'clock. Bye bye everybody, that was your weather for today. If you're feeling cold right now, then try making yourself some hot chocolate with our sponsor today, Boston Instant Hot Chocolate. It is very simple to make some hot chocolate with Boston Instant Hot Chocolate. Just start by boiling your kettle. Then put in four teaspoons of hot chocolate into your cup, put in the hot water, put in the milk, and then enjoy. And bye-bye, that's it for this news report.